ever wondered if our family tree has more twists and branches than we ever imagined? Over the decades, archaeologists and geneticists have unearthed remains that don't quite fit the neat picture of modern humans. Today we're exploring 10 groundbreaking discoveries that have reshaped our view of human evolution. From tiny hobbits on remote islands to mysterious skulls from far off caves, these finds remind us that our past is full of surprises waiting to be pieced together. Starting off today, we are talking about Homo floresiensis. Discovered in 2003 in the Liang Bua Cave on the island of Flores, Indonesia, Homo floresiensis quickly captured the world's attention. Nicknamed the Hobbit for its diminutive stature, standing about three and a half feet tall, and its small brain size, this species seems to be a striking example of island dwarfism, a phenomenon where limited resources lead to smaller body sizes. But what really stumps scientists is the combination of primitive and modern traits in these skeletons. While its brain is tiny compared to modern humans, its wrists and feet hint at advanced tool use. The discovery forces us to rethink how diverse our hominin relatives once were and what human really means. Deep in the rising star cave system near Johannesburg, South Africa, a remarkable find emerged in 2013. Homo naledi. This species, announced in 2015, possesses a puzzling blend of traits. Its skull and brain are more primitive, yet its hands and feet bear similarities to ours. What's even more intriguing is that thousands of bones were found in a deep, hard to reach chamber, suggesting some form of deliberate deposition. Were these individuals practicing early forms of ritual behavior? While some debates continue about its age, and classification, Homo naledi stands as a testament to how little we know about the many experiments of human evolution. Hidden away in the remote Denisova cave in Siberia, a few fragments, a finger bone, a couple teeth, a jaw piece, unveiled an entirely new chapter in human ancestry. These remains belong to the Denisovans, a group identified largely through advanced DNA analysis. Although their physical appearance remains largely a mystery, genetic evidence reveals that they interbred with both Neanderthals and early modern humans. Their genetic legacy is still present today, especially among populations in Melanesia and parts of Asia. This tiny collection of remains reminds us that even the smallest clues can rewrite the story of our origins. In 2019, researchers announced a startling discovery from Kaleo Cave on the island of Luzon in the Philippines. Homo Luzonensis. The remains, comprising teeth and small bone fragments, present a mosaic of traits not seen in any other known human species. Some of its features, like curved toe bones, hint at adaptations for life in rugged, forested environments, perhaps even aiding in climbing. Its existence suggests that a diverse group of hominins once inhabited Southeast Asia, and that our evolutionary journey took many unexpected detours in remote corners of the globe. Deep in the limestone caverns of Yunnan province in China, the Red Deer cave people have puzzled scientists since their discovery. Dated to around 14,000 years ago, these remains possess a curious mix of archaic and modern features. Their dental structure and cranial shape differ from what we'd expect in early modern humans, sparking debates about whether they represent a distinct lineage or a unique case of regional variation. The Red Deer cave people challenge the neat boundaries of our evolutionary classifications and remind us that the history of human evolution is far from linear. In 2021, researchers studying a nearly complete skull unearthed near Harbin, China, introduced the world to Homo longi, nicknamed Dragon Man. Estimated to be over 146,000 years old, this skull boasts a mix of features that differ significantly 
significantly from both modern humans and Neanderthals. Its robust build, wide face, and distinct brow ridges have ignited debates over whether it represents a previously unknown species. Some scientists argue that Dragon Man could be more closely related to modern humans than other archaic species, potentially rewriting parts of our evolutionary narrative in East Asia. Moving on over to the country of Georgia lies the site of Demanisi, a treasure trove of early human fossils dating back nearly 1.8 million years. The Demanisi hominins showcase remarkable veritability in skull shape and size among individuals, which has led some researchers to propose that these early migrants may represent a single, highly diverse species. Their discovery not only pushes back the timeline of when early humans left Africa, but also challenges the traditional boundaries between species. These fossils, with their mix of robust and gracile features, offer a vivid snapshot of early human dispersal and adaptation to new environments. At the Ataperca site in northern Spain, archaeologists uncovered remains that have been attributed to Homo antecessor, one of Europe's earliest known human species. Dated back to around 1.2 million years ago, these fossils exhibit a curious blend of modern and archaic traits. Some scientists even suggest that Homo antecessor might be a common ancestor of both Neanderthals and us modern humans. The discovery of these remains in these rugged caves has provided valuable insights into early human migration into Europe and the complex web of interactions between different hominin groups. Discovered in Cobway, Zambia in the 1920s, the Cobway skull, sometimes called the Broken Hill skull, is one of the most debated finds in paleoanthropology. Estimated to be around 300,000 years old, this skull exhibits a mix of traits that some researchers attribute to Homo heidelbergensis, while others suggest it might represent a distinct group often referred to as Homo rodensiensis. Its unusually thick brow ridges and robust features have made it a focal point for discussions about the regional diversity in early human populations. The Cobway skull is a striking reminder that Africa's evolutionary record is as varied and complex as the continent itself. Last but not least, the Hofmeyer skull, discovered in the Eastern Cape of South Africa in 1952, continues to fascinate scientists. Dated to around 36,000 years ago, this skull possesses a puzzling mix of modern and archaic features. Some researchers argue that its characteristics don't fit neatly into any known category of early humans, suggesting it might represent a divergent or even hybrid lineage. The Hofmeyer skull challenges conventional views of human evolution in southern Africa and serves as a clue that our ancestral history might be even more intricate than we currently understand. Alright guys, that has been our list for today. Thanks so much for checking it out. I've been your host today, Olivia Kozolowski, and I will see you again soon. Goodbye.